Hello, it's me, the book caterpillar, aka Victoria, and today I am bringing you a book review on *The Great Gatsby* by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Okay, so I read this for the Booktubeathon, and I did it the blue cover. That's what this one was, the challenge. And I didn't really read that much for Booktubeathon because of um, changing jobs and stuff. So. I didn't really get to read that much, as much as I wanted to, but, you know, whatever. Um, so anyway, this book I read on Thursday and Friday of last week, and then I watched the movie on Friday, and the movie really matched the book, like, so well. They were like, and you know, readers, people, we, we like it when the books match the movies. They, all they left out was, like, a couple of things with a kid and old guy. That's pretty much all they left out. So, if you're not a reader and you still want to know what The Great Gatsby is, go check out the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio because he still doesn't have an Oscar. And <laughs> get him that Oscar. No, just watch it. It's good. Whatever. Okay. So, those of you that don't know, The Great Gatsby is in the perspective of Nick Carraway and he writes about his experiences with Jay Gatsby, Daisy Buchanan, who is his cousin, and Tom Buchanan. And, um, yeah, so, it's, it's 1920s New York. It's pretty awesome. And, um, so he lives on an island with, the Long Island, with Jay Gatsby, or not with him, but their neighbors. And his cousin, Daisy, lives across the bay, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want I feel like you should know as little as possible about this book going into it because the storyline is just kind of, I feel like if you just don't know anything, it's more fun. So anyway, if you have, if you know you're going to read this for school and you haven't read it yet, read it before you read it with the school because so many people say that they hate this book because their teacher forced them to read it. So you should go read it first before your teacher forces you to and then maybe you'll enjoy it a little bit more. Okay, so now spoilers will come in. And I really like this book, so I suggest you read it. I really do. I really do. So, go read it now. Okay, here come the spoilers. The coincidences in this book were out of this world. It reminded me of Charles Dickens, like the fact that Daisy Buchanan was driving Jay Gatsby's car hit her husband's mistress unknowingly, first of all, that it was his mistress, and second of all, did it on accident. And then Jay Gatsby got framed for the affair and the murder bowl, and then he gets killed by Myrtle, the mistress's husband. So, poor Gatsby, huh? Yeah, Tom and Daisy, they just kind of, it was just so sad because they just kind of came in and used both Nick and Gatsby and then just left like nothing ever happened and Gatsby is to throw these extravagant amazing parties and no one showed up to his funeral he had hundreds of people at these parties and no one came to his funeral but Nick Carraway it was pretty sad so uh, yeah <laughs> but um yes I love this book I loved the atmosphere of it like the 20s. I love the 20s and just the way he described their dresses and their hair and stuff like that. It was amazing and beautiful and wonderful and yes, oh my goodness. And <laughs> um, it was so good. I literally have nothing bad to say about this book. It was just, it was amazing and I hate Daisy Buchanan and I heard a lot of people actually liked her and I don't understand why because she's a nut in my opinion. So, um, yeah, so um, I would give this five out of five stars. So I think you should really check it out then. I was interested in it pretty much the entire time and it was super wonderful. So got that one done, the blue cover challenge. And the book that I'm reading right now is someone else's favorite book. And it's called um, The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls and um, my best friend Sophie. I love her, shout out to Sophie. 
Um, she is, it's her favorite book. Well, I don't know if it's her exact favorite book, but it's one of her favorites. So I'm doing that for um, my next one, maybe on Saturday I'll film that. I haven't finished it quite yet. I have about 60 pages left. So I want to get it in before my friend, before Sophie goes to like a camp thing. So, okay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will have links down below for you to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. But, yep. So, um, comment, comment, comment. I love comments. I love them more than likes. Comment, comment, comment. Please do. Okay. And if you want, if you worry about the planes, tell them to go somewhere else, please. <laughs> so, um, Yes, I will see all of you guys later, and I love you. Okay. Cheerio! <laughs>